Johnny. Come Uncle on Jojo. in. We've come here today specifically to get an intro. G'day everyone, Uncle Jojo, warm jigger to another rip roaring episode. Come on down to one of my builds, the Bow Wolf Builders build, and Johnny and I are just gonna walk through how the energy leaks and the efficiency matrix and how we work. Awesome. I didn't actually come here just for an intro. We're coming here to look at this <laughs> wonderful home. So, so talk to us, what have we got here? We've, okay. got, a, we've got an actual renovation. Yeah, we? yeah, so this is an old home built in about 1910. Yeah. So it's about 110 years old. Wow. And what we've done is we've really used the orientation of the existing dwelling as mm -hmm. much as we could mm -hmm. and the skeleton. Mm -hmm. So the people had a very tight budget, a very young family, yeah. and they were really restricted on the timeline as well. Yeah. So we had to try and blend all of those little pieces into mm -hmm. the puzzle mm -hmm. and come up with the best energy efficient home that we could that was healthy. Okay, beautiful. We'll just go through and just have a quick look, maybe with the thermal imaging camera. We'll also yes. hit, hit it with the blower door test yep. and see how much a home like this, with a renovation, yep. can leak. Unreal. Wow. I've heard about these thermal imaging cameras. I can't wait. I'm super excited. <laughs> All right. Well, then let's get it out. Let's do it. <laughs> we don't want you to build up too much enthusiasm where you might get too excited, right? <laughs> All right. So, Uncle Jojo, Talk to us about this roof. It's so pretty amazing, isn't it? This is a beautiful home. Yeah. Uh, this is a really nice feature of it. Yeah. We didn't want to pull it down. We didn't want to put a flat ceiling through. The people really wanted to keep this feature. Yeah. Uh, but we knew it wasn't insulated, so we actually pulled all the roof off on the outside. Okay. And we tried to insulate it the best that we could where right. we could. There's no eaves on it. If you look yeah. outside, there's no eaves on it. And I find that energy leaks through that area yeah. quite sufficiently yeah. because there's nothing that extends past as far as insulation yeah, goes. Right. But everything in this home yeah. has been kind of retrofitted. So yeah. we've tried to make the old work yeah. with the new yeah. as best we could. Awesome. So the insulation here looks, looks great. You've done a good work, Uncle Jojo. Thank you. Uh, there's a couple of little gaps oh, around the joint. Oh, look at that. There, wow, how much is leaking through so the corner. The, the corners. And you've got a beam going through here, right? So yeah, that's pretty that's tough to, yep. to insulate. Yep. So that's what you were talking about before. But you can the... clearly see the form of the bats here, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And look, it's even crooked with a big gap in between. Yeah. Even more reason, people, why you need to make sure that when you're installing your bats, you're actually putting them. So they're nice and neat and together. I love that message. We, we try and make that, that point all the time. These little, um, these little areas here look like air leakage, right? Yeah, that's a cavity slider through there. Look at that. And the fan hasn't even been put on yet. Wow. Du faule Schwein! We've got the building under negative pressure now, and you can clearly see in all these joins how air is infiltrating the building envelope on this roof, or on this ceiling, sorry. Great imagery. What do you think of that, Uncle Jojo? It is absolutely amazing. And yep. I love the patterns. I mean, how awesome are some of the yeah. patterns that they've even got going on? So all, all this really needs is just a bead of cork, right? Yeah, right. This is pressed metal ceilings. Now, yep. metal being high conductivity of energy, yep. it gets really cold yeah. in certain areas. So yep. what we did was we actually ply back to almost all of it. Yeah. Okay. And you can see that's nice and consistent, yeah, but good, look around the edges where we couldn't actually seal. You can see that we've actually got some energy leaking around yeah. the edges of it. You've got a, a, a pretty decent air leak just here though. Wow, look at that. So that's the old chimney. Yeah, just on top. And in this corner. But your insulation install is really good, just in those corners, right? Yep. We're, uh, we're so that's, missing some insulation on... Uh, where, where you've got walls coming off the facade. Right. But all your ceiling insulation looks fantastic. You've done a great job. So the front door, you've got a window. How often, Uncle Jojo, do um, do they operate this window? We actually put seals around that Did window. You? Yeah. Oh, I guess it's not performing too badly, but you're let down by this above leakage. It. Yeah, that. Above it. Wow. And those windows have all been secondary glazed as well, oh, nice. which means a piece of glass is installed. Yep four mil thick with beading around it to ensure that there's no energy that leaks through it. Now that we've got the fan installed, maybe we should just have a quick look to see. Oh, look at that. How good's our insulation on that wall? It's fantastic, isn't it? But it's the internal corners. What a killer. Yeah. I never realized how much it leaks yeah. through the internal corners. Yeah. Let's have a look at the last room in the house. 
So this whole wall yeah. has been completely rebuilt yeah. on that side. Yep. That was directly north facing and all of the weatherboards are completely rotted. Oh, so yeah. we've redone all of those, but we've done them in cement sheet. Awesome. So we're using the thermal properties of the actual cement mm. to really work against blocking that heat coming through on the north face. Okay. While we did that, we insulated all of the wall mm -hmm. and we double, I, I don't know if you've ever seen uh, where we air gap it. So what mm. we do is we insulate, mm -hmm. then we put sarking paper, mm -hmm. then we put a timber batten on, and mm -hmm. then we put weatherboards on. Okay. So it creates two gaps, if right. you will, and creates a cushion of air between the two. This is one of my favorite things ever. And you were talking about the internal wall cavity door yeah. units that leak. Yes. So come and check it, check this one out. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. wow. The, the parents escape. No longer do you need to hang out with your children. Mm. You can run away. <laughs> and hide. I know. It's a good cubby house. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, normally these internal cavity sliders leak a lot. Yep. Benji, can we run the fan and see if this one leaks? Because I've got a feeling oh, that it's going to leak. It's not going to leak, John. It's not going to leak. How can this be? What have you done? Well, it's an internal wall. So we've sealed it as we've done it. Yeah. So when we stand up our walls, we actually seal underneath and on top. Okay. Yeah. Normally these are automatic closes. That would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> No, it's good because so, normally when we put induced negative pressure, they automatically close. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look how airtight this build is. Then we can talk about, um, and then we can talk about where I guess we want to be at. Okay. So it's looking like this home, it's around about 16 ACH. Yep. So that's not really that good, really, though, is it? In no, it's, day it's not spectacular. Your insulation consistency is um, yep. at a not bad level. Yep. But um, the air tightness, yeah, yep. there's, there's room for improvement. Yeah, there's right. no doubt about it. Now, you were talking to me before about mm. the insulation, and that's mm. only one piece of the puzzle, isn't mm. it? Mm. So what other pieces of the puzzle? Because obviously we've got the fireplace. Yeah, so you've got your fireplace, um, you've got your ducted heating yep. system, which is, seems to be leaking a little bit. All of your arcs around your windows, yep. your skirting boards, yep. uh, everything adds up. Yeah. So the size of the hole in this home is around 30 centimetres by about a metre. 30 by a metre. By a metre. 30 by a metre. Yeah. Wow. So really that's one foot by three foot. Yep. Yep. Wow. Mm. That's it, huge. Constantly open. You know, it'd be, it'd be great if all those holes were on one side of the building. Yep. Because then they, those hole, that hole won't feed yep. each other. But as soon yep. as you've got holes scattered throughout the building envelope, yep. it really you hard. just get, yeah, you just get all these flows happening through the building envelope, especially when it's windy, yeah, okay. which, um, yeah, contributes to issues with um, heating and cooling, your comfort, yep. uh, moisture getting into your walls. Yep. Which yep. you don't yep. want, especially so if, if if you've got mold growing in your walls and yeah. you're getting fresh air from a wall system, it's not the best place to be. Oh, so like air. an leaky home or a sick home. That, that kind yeah, of thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. as soon as you get moisture building up in wall cavities yeah. and there's yeah. food there, yeah. it, it'll grow. Yeah, okay. And then you get yeah. mold spores coming yeah. into your building. Into your okay, building. so what can we do? What can we So we can seal mm. round doors, yeah? Yeah, so you can. Seal up you, the, the, there's a lot of caulking that can be done here. Right. To significantly improve. So cork up all here. underneath all of our skirts. Yep. Fix yep. up your ducted heating return. Yep. Um, your fireplaces. If we're not using them, seal if them you're not up. Using them, yeah. Maybe yep. some neat way of making them airtight. Yep. yep. So the other issue, Uncle Jojo, that is very common for uh, leaky buildings yeah. or leaky homes in particular, is ducted heating system out floor outlets. Right. So these leak quite a lot of air, and when you add, out, add up how many of these outlets there are, yep. this air leakage will contribute to a lot. Wow. So what you're saying is we should actually be sealing those yeah. as we're fixing them off. Yeah, they can right. be corked to the floor. Yep, yep. okay. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, internal walls. So mm -hmm. we had a look before with the thermal thermal imaging. Yep. Internal corners mm -hmm. are leaking really badly. Yeah. You've got a video just about that, haven't you? Yeah, we do. Yep. yep. And it just shows how we can actually seal those up mm -hmm. and reduce that energy leaking. Yeah, yeah. Down. Look, it, it's on every corner. I mean, that's important, especially on a new build, that it's done when it's most economic to do it. Mm -hmm. But for a lot of these older homes, we find that they're just missing insulation full yeah, stop. Right. So to finish up, I guess yep. there are key, there are quite a lot of areas where we can improve the yeah. overall air tightness of yep. this home, yep. which we've, we've just gone over. Uh, it, this is a pretty stock standard, like older mm -hmm. home, right? Mm -hmm. how, how bad can they get from what you've seen? 
Well, uh, when you, we first walked in here, I mm. mean, we built this five years ago. When we first mm. we walked mm. in here, um, everything was leaking. Mm. Whereas now, obviously, that's been reduced substantially. Mm. I mean, you've gone from 40-ish, mm. I guess, mm. uh, 40 Maybe. air changes Maybe. an hour. This could have been 40, yep. yeah. Yep. And now, because there was two chimneys, yeah. uh, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. Um, and now we're down to 16. So mm. we've halved it, if not a little bit more. Hopefully. Yep. Uh, what would you do on your next build to um, maybe? Oh, that's a aid? good question. Um, I would, I'd, I'd ensure that every single bit of the insulation was placed in properly. Yep. I'd be sealing around each and every one of my cavities as I'm going. Nice. And at the very end of it, I think yeah. I think the most important part is, and I, I talk about mm. painters mm. being the spit and polish, but mm. also sealing up around all those skirts and arcs. Mm. I think that'd just be the creme de la creme. Totally. Yeah. Good stuff. And I think the other thing to look out for is good products for ventilation. Oh, right? absolutely. And and making sure that when you've got a an exhaust fan in a room that mm -hmm. needs to be ventilated, mm -hmm. that it's got some sort of air to supply with with the door closed. Yeah, right. You know, no one really pays attention yep. to these sorts of so things. That's, 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 that's really part. important as you start tightening up the building yeah. envelope. So with bathrooms and toilets, yep. Yep. when you operate an exhaust system, mm -hmm. it needs to have air to draw to move. Right. A lot okay. of these fans, exhaust fans that you put into into residential yep. uh, bathrooms and toilets, yep. they don't operate with very high pressure. So you close the door mm -hmm. and the airflow just is significantly restricted. So we actually need to put a, a duct or a vent inside the door. Yeah, being able, I mean, it makes it a lot easier when you've got a ducted heating system because each one of the rooms has that. So yep. via the return, fresh air yep. can go in. Yep. But if you're just operating a home with just splits, yep. then yeah, you need to start thinking about yeah, these right. things. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Ames. Pleasure. We'll talk on the next one, huh? Yeah, can't <laughs> wait. I'm looking forward to it already. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for watching everyone. Really enjoyed it. Thanks heaps, Johnny, for coming out. If you've got any questions or queries about any of that, flick it over to um, Efficiency Matrix. Make sure you contact Johnny and the crew. Awesome crew to work with. If you've got any questions about building, come over to Uncle Jojo and ask away. Thanks for watching and like always everyone, stay unreal, Banana Peel. I'll see you in the soup.